Hello, I'm Mark. Welcome to Android Authority. Android devices make lives easier, especially because of their portability. Even while on the move, you can communicate with contacts, organize your contact lists, manage apps, manipulate files, and more. Yet, managing your Android devices can also easily get in your way if, for example, you're working at your desktop computer and you need to frequently pick up your phone or tablet to reply to text messages. In this video, I'll talk to you about an app that can help you carry out your device management duties more easily. The app is called AirDroid. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you around the app's features and show you how it works. AirDroid is a remote device manager. In a nutshell, it lets you manage your Android over the air. All you need are your Android device with AirDroid installed, at least a wireless local area network connection, but preferably with connection to the internet, and a web browser on your desktop computer. What? No wires needed? Yes, no wires needed. No need for extra software either. Everything is done through your web browser. Once you have everything ready, it's time to connect to your phone from your web browser. You can use AirDroid with or without an AirDroid account, but I strongly recommend signing up for free so you can enjoy more app features, including the Find Phone feature, which can be very useful if you ever lose your phone. After signing up or logging in, you will see the app's main page and its three main tabs named Connection, Tools, and Recommends. The Tools tab provides several handy functions and shortcuts for viewing storage and memory consumption, managing apps, handling local files, managing running tasks, setting network, and tethering preferences, and more. The Recommends tab offers a list of useful apps recommended by the AirDroid team. At this point, our main interest is in the Connection tab, which is where you manage your AirDroid connection. But before proceeding, you might want to visit the Settings page first to turn off Power Saving Mode and to enable Keep Screen Awake. These can improve AirDroid's connectivity, but can also drain power faster. You may want to keep your device plugged in or docked while using AirDroid. Back at the Connection tab, you will see the gray URL box and the Scan QR Code button down here. Open any of these web addresses on your web browser to connect to AirDroid on your device. If your Android and your web browser are connected to the same local network, you'll see two addresses in the gray box, like this. The first one shows the URL to AirDroid's web interface, and the second one is your phone's IP address on your local network. The features available to you will depend on the type of AirDroid connection that you use. There are three types of connection modes, light, LAN, and remote. First. Let's look at Light Connection Mode. You can use this mode even without an AirDroid account. To connect in Light Connection Mode, just open in your web browser the local network IP address provided by AirDroid. When you see the confirmation dialog appear on your device, tap the Accept button to create the connection. Once the connection is established, you will now be able to see the AirDroid web desktop interface. In Light Connection Mode, you'll only be able to do basic tasks such as contacts and SMS management. Advanced features such as the Find Phone feature are not available in Light Connection Mode. If your device and computer are on the same local network and you want to use more than just the basic AirDroid features, try LAN Connection Mode. First, log into your AirDroid account through the app on your device. Then, connect in LAN Connection Mode by opening web.airdroid.com on your desktop browser. Then, on your Android device, tap the Scan QR Code button and point your device's camera at the QR code displayed on the AirDroid webpage. The connection will be created once the QR code is scanned and verified. Or, instead of scanning the QR code, you can manually log in with your username and password using the web form. When you connect in LAN connection mode with your account, you'll be able to enjoy additional AirDroid features such as Find Phone and multiple desktop switching. What if your device and computer aren't on the same local network? Can you still manage your device with AirDroid? You certainly can. Just connect in remote connection mode. The procedure is the same as that for LAN connection mode, except that your device and computer are on different networks. Open web.airdroid.com on your desktop browser. Then, scan the displayed QR code using your device's camera, or sign in using the login form. In remote connection mode, some features such as the camera and call features are available to premium subscribers only although the same features are available for free in LAN connection mode. Also, if you have a free account, you can get a monthly data transfer limit of 100 megabytes, 
but if you go premium, you'll get 1 gigabyte of data transfer limit monthly. Now that your AirDroid connection is ready, you can now start managing your Android device on your computer's web browser. To manage the SMS messages on your device, click this icon to open the messages window. Here you can read, compose, send, forward, or delete SMS messages right on your PC's web browser. You can also search for messages using this search bar. Just type in the keyword. To quickly compose a new message, you can click this button. You can also easily add recipients from your contact list by clicking this button. For managing your contacts, click this icon to open the contacts window, where all contacts on your Android device will be displayed. On the contacts window, you can add new contacts, edit them, sort them into groups, or delete them. You can also select multiple contacts and perform group actions on them, such as sending a group message, saving the selected contacts into a group, or deleting the selected contacts. If you want to quickly compose a message or call a contact, just click these buttons beside the contacts number. As far as calls are concerned, you can use AirDroid to remotely dial a number on your Android device. This is the button for that. Just type a number on the dial pad and click the call button, or click the message button if you want to send a message instead. When your Android device gets an incoming call, a call information window appears on the AirDroid desktop interface, showing you the caller's name or number. You can either reject the call or send a message to the caller. You can also view and manage your call logs through the AirDroid web desktop interface. Just click the call logs button to see a list of all your phone activities. Use the tabs at the top to view only incoming calls, outgoing calls, or missed calls. To the right of each call log item are quick buttons for calling back the number, sending SMS, adding the number to the contact list, or deleting the number. Aside from managing messages, contacts, calls, and call logs, you can also manage the ringtones on your Android device. Just click this button to open the ringtones window. Here, you'll see the available call ringtones, notification tones, and alarm tones on your device. Custom tones that are currently in use are marked with a green label. To choose another tone, just click the set button to the right of the tone's name. You can also play, download, or delete a tone. Just click the corresponding button to the right of the tone's name. Or, if you have sound files on your computer that you want to upload as a ringtone to your device, click this button and drag and drop the file to this window. To make file management extra easy, the AirDroid web desktop includes a file manager so you can access your files and folders right on your desktop web browser. Here you can access user and system files from your device's internal storage and external SD card. Be careful with system files. You could cause your device to malfunction. Using the Files window, you can perform basic file operations such as creating folders, renaming files, copying, cutting, or pasting files, and deleting files or folders. You can also download files from your device to your computer, or upload files from your computer to your device. The AirDroid Web Desktop can also help you manage your photos, music, and videos. On the Photos window, you can view your photos and albums. You can upload and download photos, delete photos, and even set wallpapers for your device. On the Music window, you'll see a detailed list of all music files stored on your device. To the right of each track name are buttons for playing, downloading, deleting, or setting the file as call ringtone, notification tone, or alarm tone. You can also upload or download music files through this window. On the Videos window, you'll see your videos sorted into albums on the left pane. You can view videos either as a detailed list or as thumbnails. In this window, you can play, download, upload, or delete videos. I can now hear you saying AirDroid seems capable of managing almost everything on my device. Can it manage my apps too? And the answer to that is a big yes. In fact, AirDroid lets you install or uninstall apps without you even having to touch your Android. Just click this icon to open the apps window. Here you'll find a list of all apps installed on your device. The apps are grouped into two tabs, one for user apps and the other for system apps. You can uninstall an app by deleting it using the delete button. To back up an app to your PC, download it using the download button. Or, if you have an APK file on your desktop that you want to install on your device, just click this button to begin installation. What about camera control? Can AirDroid let you control your camera? Again, the answer is yes. It's free in light or LAN connection mode, but available to premium users only in remote connection mode. 
To use the remote camera, just click this icon to open the camera window and see the camera viewfinder in real time. You can also switch between primary and secondary camera with this button. To capture a photo, just click this button. Photos are saved to your computer. One limitation of the remote camera is that it won't let you zoom in or out of your photo subject. It also won't let you capture videos remotely. I've already showed you AirDroid's most important and basic features and functions, but there are more. AirDroid has other useful tools in store for you. One of such tools is this shortcuts bar up here. This button opens the About page from where you can manage your AirDroid account. This is an app search bar. You can use this to search for apps. This button is for switching between workspaces or desktops, while this one is for composing new SMS, and this one opens the dial pad so you can quickly place calls. This next icon opens the Notifications page, where you can view AirDroid notifications, while this shortcut links to Account and Device Settings. This last shortcut is for signing out of AirDroid. Another useful feature in the AirDroid web desktop is the Find Phone feature. It works like an anti-theft app that can help you remotely locate your lost Android. For this feature to work properly, you need to set AirDroid as Device Administrator. With Find Phone, you can lock your device remotely or even wipe all device data without you having to touch your device. And if you have a premium subscription, you can use Intruder Mode, which takes a photo of anyone who tries to unlock the lost device and fails. If your device is rooted, you can also use the screenshot feature to grab a snapshot of your device's screen. Another handy AirDroid tool is this info widget on the web desktop. It shows you a summary of storage use. Click details to see statistics about memory usage on your device. The toolbox is also another very handy set of tools in AirDroid. This button opens a Dropbox where you can drag and drop files that you want to upload to your device. This button opens a text field for URLs or web addresses. And when you press the Enter key or this button, your device's default web browser opens the URL. This button opens an input box for notes or text that you want to forward to your device's clipboard, so you can paste the note or text wherever you want. Lastly, this button opens a Dropbox where you can drag and drop APK files of apps that you want to install to your device. Managing your Android device doesn't have to be a hindrance in such situations as when you're working at your desktop computer. With AirDroid, you can manage your Android without having to leave your desktop's web browser. Nicest of all, AirDroid is cable-free, and you don't need to install any third-party software for AirDroid to work. In this video, I showed you how to remotely manage your Android device using AirDroid. I hope you find this video useful. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching, and remember, the power of Android is yours.